What's up guys? I'm Ryan from Ryan Sea Fishing. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I'm targeting a species I've only ever targeted twice in my entire life. And you might be able to tell by the thumbnail title depending on what happens, but we're going after big grass carp today. There's probably a 25% chance that they're even in here. I have no idea. I'll show the picture, but our local police department showed this photo on Facebook after a bout of flooding. We had like nine inches of rain in one day and it just kept raining all week. And they pulled out like what would have been a 40, 50 pound grass carp in a local dog park. So we're gonna see if they're in here. I really don't know, but uh, we're fishing with corn today. Let's hope they're in there. Before we get in the video, let me ask you something. Do you want dope ass gear that's gonna make other people jealous? Do you want to save money and do you want to get free stuff? Go to keepitrealclothing.com and use code RyanC at checkout for 10% off and a free decal. They have a great selection and are just now getting started. So check them out. As I had said before, I'm using corn today. I've got like five cans of corn in here uh, in this little ice cream bucket. Bunch of corn. You don't really need that much for baiting, but I'm gonna be chumming some, which is perfectly legal here in Missouri, except in trout parks, which I'm not at a trout park, I'm at a local pond. So I've got this little old container right here. I'm gonna scoop this out, and I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start throwing this out. Try to start baiting. In this area, I can't really throw it very far with that. So I'm gonna get some in my hand here and just chuck it out. Now, I'm probably gonna have to sift through some uh, junk fish, like bluegill, stuff like that. But hopefully, if they're even in here, uh, I can get some carp. And maybe even catfish. There's catfish in here too, and I've heard that they'll eat corn. So, uh, got this site baited up a little bit, and hopefully get some out of it. Got one. It's an itty bitty, tiny, tiny little bass. Didn't even fight at all, but. Oh, this is a hook hand fish if I ever saw one. Actually, let's see if I can't just shake him off. I don't know, I'll try. Okay, we got him. Well, we didn't get skunked, but it's the tiniest little bass we've ever seen. Hmm. It's not really what you want. Got another one. Oh! Little bluegill. This fish is gonna hook me. Okay. Get back out. Nice little bluegill. Put up more of a fight than that bastard. Oh, I'm getting bit. Or is that a bug? Uh, something just tapped my line. I don't know if it was a bug or a fish, but uh, switch spots as I wasn't getting any bites in the other one. Hopefully we can catch either a catfish or a carp, target species. Oh, got him. Oh, it was a bluegill. Oh, he just nut tapped me. Or uh, is that a red or sunfish? to grab these guys with this treble hook but they're pretty docile or it's like it's like a green sunfish but he's got that red, red little like kill plate thing i don't know he's a really pretty fish but, uh, oh he finned me whatever that was hit <laughs> like three times before i got it Let's see if there's anything else there <clears throat> whatever this is not big tight my drag 
I think I hooked into a turtle. Oh my gosh. Has to be what this is. Has to be. What is this? Ugh. Oh my god, that's a massive turtle. Oh! That is a massive turtle. Oh! Yo, it is a massive snapping turtle. Holy crap. No way. I don't know if you guys, oh, I mean, look at my rod. I don't know if you guys can see this thing. But holy crap, this is a massive, oh God, that's like one of the biggest snapping turtles I've ever seen. Oh. Yo, I didn't even know there were snapping turtles in here. Look at that thing. You guys see that? Oh, he's making noises. Okay. Uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna do here. I really don't wanna have to retie. Why couldn't you have been a massive fish? Look how big that thing is. I knew I was gonna catch something on a uh, turtle on the corn. Look how big he is. You guys see that thing? I think I can see the hook. There's no way I'm gonna be able to get that back though. Oh man. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Look at this massive head. I'm gonna have to zoom in on his head, guys. It's huge. Holy crap. I guess I'm just gonna have to cut you off, bro. Dang it. I did not wanna have to retie. Carolina rig. Let me get my clipper. As soon as I felt that I was heavy and wasn't fighting back. He's still on. Where you at? I can't even move him. That is such a big turtle. Oh man. Look at look at that. I can see the hook too. Yo. Alright man, I'll let you go. I made free to go. Oh, right there. That's cool. Oh man, he's gonna hook me. I mess around with the rooster tails. Right by the eye. Yeah. Sorry about that one, buddy. Get you back. I think I was like right on the bank. All right, guys. We're on day two of this uh, this video. It is uh, raining right now. Probably tell. We're in a rain jacket and pretty bad. But we're somewhere different today. We're in Nobnoster State Park, Missouri. Really beautiful pond. I've only fished here once or twice before and it was for bass, but today we're going after catfish and we're using some baits I've never used before. Couldn't get worms today. So today we're using soap. I've heard that this is good for catfish. We're gonna find out. I've got a bunch of different bars of soap I'm gonna cut up here and use for bait, but I'm pretty much just gonna set up on this little chair right here and we're gonna fish Clear Fork Lake. It's really pretty here, but uh, Apparently there's some good catfishing. It looks like the lens is fogged up. But um, some good catfishing here, hopefully. So I'm gonna try to get you guys some catfish today. Let's get into it.
Alright guys, we're on day three of filming this video. I'm with Joey this time. This time not by myself. It's good for my mental health because it's been rough. We're going for catfish again. I'm gonna try to use some bluegill as bait, some cut bait, and then he's got worms he's gonna use. We'll see which works, if any works. This lake is like super poop water, muddy. It just flooded a whole bunch, so we're gonna see what happens, but let's get it. All right, step one to using bluegill as cut bait, catch a bluegill. I didn't bring a fillet knife. I, that was a terrible cast. I brought my pocket knife, so hopefully that works. It should be fine. It's not like I'm doing anything crazy. I straight up just skipped an eye of the rod. Well, that sucks. Oh, we're going. I wasn't even paying attention. But is that a bass? Dang it. I mean, I caught my first fish. Huh? No. They're game fish. Little tiny itty bitty guy. Just shake him off the hook. Mm, we got our first fish. Oh, got one. It's a bluegill. Oh, man. That's a little bigger than I'd like, but we'll do it. It'll work. This is your unlucky day. Just throw it really hard. Oh, I don't want him to hook me with this uh, treble hook. That's a good point, Jimmy. Yeah, he's a nice little bluegill. Oh, un while I was trying to unhook him, I got one of the other hooks. Double hook. It's on the bottom of his lip. It's like the toughest part. Bluegill love to make things difficult for you. All right, so I won't show this part, but I'm going to cut him up. Oh, oh you hooked him in the gill. Oh. You did that weird. No wonder he was so weird. <laughs> you, you, you must be... No, I only need the two pieces for now. You were just... Oh, you must have just... Oh, that's a, eye again. Oh, my God. Must, <laughs> you must have just been laid on your hook set. Oh, crap. Oh, did you see that? Can we get that? I hate touching their eye crap. It's so like, ugh, it makes my eyes hurt. Well, your eyes don't hurt. Them. They hurt so bad. Plus, there's already sweat in them, so. Oh, you just peed all over me. I hate you. Oh. I'm good. Glad I let you do that. Oh, uh, that's your, that's your, that's your, oh that's your responsibility. Oh God. Why would you go in there? You're the one that hooked the fish weird, so you have to deal with it. Got one. What is it? The water's so dirty, I can't tell. Yeah, a little tiny bluegill. Now he's like really pale. Ooh. It's like during the flooding, they like lost their color. Oh, he's peeing all over me and he pooped. Oh my God, of course you ate it this way where it's like all three hooks are in your mouth. Dude, he pooped all over my hand. I literally have fish poop all over me. It was worth it. No, I had my camera off, but nice little little bass this is like oh my god now look what you did bud gotcha. uh, rip your lip up then what did you go and do that for that's honestly oh if I could hold him that's honestly a lot bigger than the bass we usually catch in here, which isn't saying much, but I'll take it. I wish I had the camera on. It's all good. Oh, he's so slimy, I can't get him. Come on. This is what 
kept hitting me, and it was stuck in the like, eye socket. It was so difficult to get no. out. They, they just bite it like right on the like most inconvenient parts of the lip. There we go, got them. Here, little buddy. Their colors are different. Like before they were like super dark and now they're like really light. Skipped it. Did I really? Yeah, <laughs> well, like, no, so because- But then it went sideways and like flapped right I was, just, I was gonna say, they like to jump like right as you release them. That was like 10 feet out. Like normally we catch those bluegills right off the bank, but that was like 10 feet off yeah. the bank. So I guess it's just a matter of locating. Maybe they're just in different spots right now. Turtle? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't mean to. Is this one of them water turtles? Yeah, that's terrible. Ah! I'm about to die trying to release this turtle. He's got a crack in his shell. Poor guy. Here, are you a water turtle? I'm just gonna put you on the rocks and we'll see. There you go, buddy. If he crawls into the water, then we'll know. He did! I knew it! I helped him out. Ah. All right, guys, I'm going to have to close the video off here. We've got some severe weather rolling through our area, so I had my mom come pick us up. This was a terrible week of fishing. I caught like 10 to 15 little bluegill bass, maybe not even that much, and no carp no catfish so total failure i'm honestly i'm just done with this trying to film this video it's been just cursed i don't know why but weather's been terrible it's been storming raining 100 degrees when it's not raining i don't know it was ridiculous so we're gonna close the video out here hopefully you won't see any other videos like this of mine hopefully they all go well but uh remember to like and subscribe and honestly i wouldn't even blame you if you didn't this was a pretty gar garbage video but uh, I don't know. Have a good day. Stay healthy and I'm out.